Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm really excited to bring you a video to show you how to make your own encapsulates. Now you can use this formula and this method to create your own encapsulated actives. You can also encapsulate other materials if you choose to. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to encapsulate today. The choice is yours. You don't need to be buying huge minimum order quantities of encapsulates. You can now make your own. And of course, with any of the materials that I show you today, if you need to, you can join our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group and split packs with other people. So now let me show you how you can create your own encapsulates to suit your product needs. These are the products that we're gonna be making today. So this is how it looks here and I've got a couple of different encapsulated materials to show you how you can create different types. Now, these could be any color you want. I've got some gold and some red encapsulates. They could be blue, they could be green, they could be silver, they can be anything you want. And I'm gonna show you how to make them. The other great thing about this formula is it is in a water-based product with humectant present and the encapsulates contain a small amount of ester material which you can swap and change to suit your product needs. But when dispensed, they break really easily straight into the skin for a sensory delight, delivering whatever you've chosen to encapsulate. So now let me show you how to encapsulate your own materials. So here I have water and humectant. So again, you can change what I have in my formula so far. You can contact us for a copy of this formula. Now to this, I'm going to add the very important polymeric materials. These are gonna help gel the product and also help stabilize those oil droplets when I add them. Never rush the wetting step of your polymers. They need to wet out thoroughly. Uh, in here I am using Carbapol Ultras 10 Polymer by Lubrizol as well as their Pemulin Easy For You Polymer by Lubrizol as well. Now again, the important uh, aspect of these particular polymers is they will help create the gel structure as well as the stabilizing structure. You can see there that these large oil droplets are very well suspended evenly throughout the product and that does rely on that polymeric network and the combination of materials I've used. Now to this, I'm just going to add my solubilized fragrance and I've also got preservative present here. Now while that swells, I'm just going to prepare my red oil phase. Now in here, I just have a light skin feel ester and I have my red dye. Now it's very important that whatever colorant you use, you make sure you pick one that is heat tolerant um, because this is going to be heated up. And to this, I'm going to add very important and special material, the Oil Chemia 5S Polymer. Now this is going to gel my oil droplets so that they can become these gorgeous little oil droplets suspended in the finished product. Basically, this Oil Chemia 5S Polymer is going to make my encapsulates. Now in here, I could put all sorts of different esters. Um, I am gonna heat this up to melt the Oil Chemia so I can get this to form a gel network. And then I'm going to allow it to cool. So during the cool down phase, I could add any other oil soluble actives. I could of course add any water soluble actives I want to my water phase. And that way I've got a lot of versatility about what I either want to encapsulate or put into the water continuous phase or these beautiful oil gel droplets.
Now, while that's cooling, I'm just going to partially neutralize my polymer phase, my water phase. I just want to get a little bit of extra viscosity and stability from this phase before I start adding my droplets. So what you can see now, I have a little bit of the polymers neutralized. I've got a little bit of a network happening there. I'm not gonna fully neutralize them, otherwise it will make it too hard to stir. Now, while this red is still cooling, you saw how I made that. I made a gold one earlier from some gold sparkle and it's set now, it's nice and cool. So again, you can add all sorts of oil soluble actives in the cool down phase while it's hot. Um, if it's going to be hot when you add them, make sure they're heat tolerant or you can add them when it's cooled down and you're gonna get this nice oily gel. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this into my water network and then I'm gonna stir it and I'm gonna stir it just enough that I break my gel into what look like these encapsulated little oil droplets, but not enough that they're gonna be broken down completely. So you can see how they've been broken up into these nice droplets. Now I can continue to stir to break them up further, but I think they're a really nice visual size. Remember, it's all about seeing is believing for your consumer when you're providing them with an encapsulated product. And this is a really good size. You'll also notice right now, they're not fully stabilized. They're not properly suspended. Remember, I've only partially neutralized my polymer network and I've done that so that I can continue to add materials and stir it homogeneously before it becomes too thick to be able to stir easily. So now it's time to add the red. And there you go, you can now see the red is broken up nicely into droplets as well. Now we need to finish neutralizing these polymer and then we're done. You can see now how thick and stable my mixture has become and my oil droplets, my encapsulates are now evenly and homogeneously suspended. Remember it's all about being creative with what you put in your encapsulates. So you can put your water-based actives into the water gel, or you can add oil-soluble actives to the oil jelly that you create. Then you simply add it in and stir. Now in a larger batch, you just need to make sure you've got good product turnover in the vessel to get a nice homogeneous droplet size. And it's all about that visual appeal. Seeing is believing. Put whatever you want in the encapsulates, color them a different way. You'll be creating a product with a fantastic and unique product story that is truly your own. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. I look forward to bringing you another exciting innovation soon. Happy formulating.